Uh, just one, one more follow on the, on the bridge. Uh, have you assessed whether <coughs> the attack had any effect uh, on Russia's uh, strategic ability to move military equipment in and out of Crimea? In and out of Crimea? Crimea. Yeah. yeah. Um, the short answer is I, I, I don't know. I mean, I can't. I, I, we haven't, let me put it another way. We haven't seen any impact of the strike on the bridge to Russia's defensive posture and their military capabilities in Crimea or in southern Ukraine. I mean, they are still, uh, uh, they are still arrayed in defense in depth. They are still fighting Ukrainian forces, um, still trying to push back uh, elements of the Ukrainian counteroffensive. I think it's just too soon to know whether that attack on that bridge is going to have any significant military impact on their ability to continue to fight this war. Um, and, and yes, it provided uh, land access, terrestrial access to Crimea, but the Russians have many, many, many other ways of providing logistics and sustainment to their troops in, in Ukraine. So my hunch would be that this won't have a dramatic effect on, on them. Just another on, on Israel. Uh, the Congresswoman Jayapal said that Israel is a racist state. Uh, she later walked that back, but there's been one in a number of comments from us uh, Democratic lawmakers about Israel and just wondering if the White House had any response to, to those comments. Well, we saw that she apologized and, uh, and we're glad she did. Uh, we think an apology was the right thing to do for those comments. Um, I think as you saw from my readout of the call with Prime Minister Netanyahu, and you'll see this uh, tomorrow when the President gets a chance to meet with President Herzog, uh, our commitment to Israel is ironclad. Uh, and we're going to make that uh, clear and consistent every chance we, we get.